Hello, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to brief you on the Smart PLS 4 which has been launched a couple of months ago. Uh, I have received uh, many requests from my students and uh, viewers that they are finding a bit difficulty to operate with Smart PLS 4 because it's a bit different as compared to Smart PLS 3. But let me tell you, it's different, but uh, the difference is not uh, very big. I'll tell you in this lecture, and I'll tell you how you can easily operate a Smart PLS 4 and uh, use it for your, for your path modeling analysis. So let's start it. When you click on Smart PLS 4, this is how it looks like. Here's the menu. You can select whatever you want to use. Okay. This is the workspace area. This is the folder area. And you can use uh, new project PLS SAM or is regression and process micro by preacher and haze. This is the workspace selection. You can switch between C drive and D drive wherever you want to save your workspace and files this is the sample projects area now click on choose workspace and select the folder where you want to save all your files so i selected it on d drive now I am ready to create a new project. So click on new project. Name the new project. I'll name it um, innovation. Create. You can see that a uh, new folder named innovation has been created. Now click on import data file and load your CSV file. I will load the innovators one file that is a CSV file. It is processing the file. So now it has been processed. And these are various uh, features of the file. You can see all indicators have been loaded. Make sure that the correct scale is selected. Matric, ordinal or categorical. We are using matric scale. Minimum and maximum values are there. Make sure all the values are okay. Click on import. Now the data will be imported to the Smart PLS 4. Here you can see indicators. And indicators correlations. Uh, we don't use uh, here data groups indicators the scale type missing values mean median minimum maximum observed minimum observed maximum standard deviation kurtosis skewness and kramer von mises p value is listed so make sure all are okay it means that the data has been uh, imported well click on back now you can uh, create a new pls path model click on plsm regression or process whatever you want to use i'll use pls path model click on it project name innovation model type plsm and file name whatever you want to give the name click on save all the indicators have been loaded here. Now I'll tell you how to construct a path model in Smart PLS 4. So this is uh, the model space. Select Inno from 1 to Inno 7. Drag, rename. I'll rename it Inno and enter. Here you can see a composite has been created here. Select CSC. 
all indicators, drag, rename and enter, select IE, drag, rename and enter, select IP, drag, rename and enter. Now a little beautification work is required so that we can improve the presentation of the model. So I will align the model properly. It should look like a nice model of course because you may be presenting it uh, in your research papers. Here I am aligning our indicators. Now I have almost completed the beautification work. Yeah, that's okay. Now I will connect the regression lines. Select connect. Connect Inno to CSC. Connect Inno to IE. Connect IE to IP. Connect CSC to IP where IP is our dependent variable of the spot model and all the indicators have been properly placed. This is how you will use uh, the Smart PLS4 to construct your model. You can use whatever function you want to use by clicking on calculate. You can use Smart PLS algorithm, bootstrapping, CTA or whatever you want to use. So it's very easy to use Smart PLS4. So I hope now you are able to launch the Smart PLS4 and uh, you can create the workspace and you can uh, import your variables, your data into the Smart PLS4 and you can construct a new path model based on your data. And so it's very easy. And whatever your requirement is, you want to conduct the regression, you want to execute the Preacher and Hayes process macro, and you want to conduct all the analysis that uh, have been featured in uh, the Smart PLS3, you can use all these analysis. Gaussian coupler is a very good uh, analysis method um, that has been introduced in Smart PLS4. And there are some other new features that have been added in this new version of Smart PLS software. I'll explain them later. The purpose of this uh, illustration was only to provide you a briefing on Smart PLS 4. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Thank you very much for attending me today. Okay, Dr. Uh, Alan Van Jacob, are you prepared to move forward? Yes, I can. Okay, the, the, Dr. Lon Ben Jacobs, he actually took us up on the offer to publish with the International Journal of Management, Economics, and Social Sciences. This is one of the things that we are prepared to do as a group to help you get published in a peer reviewed journal. So, uh, Dr. Jacob, before you move forward with that, I'd like you to discuss a little bit about your experience and then go right into your presentation. Yes, sure. Gladly. So, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm in the West Coast, so it depends when you are, where you are in the globe. Uh, I finished my uh, DBA early this year, and toward the end of the... Of the uh, the dissertation approval and discussion I try to, to publish in uh, several uh, um, magazine and, and I didn't succeed. Uh, I connected with, uh, with Dr. Rivers and the, and the society and I uh, shared my, my passion in publishing my, uh, my topic, which was similar to what I will uh, discuss now in the presentation. And uh, Dr. Rivers, he escorted me uh, and uh, allowed me to, to publish the, the article. It was a process of uh, three to four months that it took a lot of back and forth. And uh, 
I learned that it's, I, I cannot use the same dissertation. I would need to put my inner voice, my academic uh, uh, background and study, and I would need to, to turn it into something a bit different than what I, I thought it would be. And, and again, after three or four months, we were able, I was able to, to publish. It was published uh, mid-September. So and I'm very proud and honored to, to get this escort and the support from the from the DBAS society team. So thank you.